So the car, hello everybody. Welcome to our Saturday night show. Let's be patient and wait for people to join us first, okay? <coughs> Welcome everybody to to our show. Okay. Give it a couple of minutes. Let's let it wait. Let us wait for people to join us. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to our show. Please press like and share our video and show your support to us, okay? Thank you for joining us here today. Okay, please be patient. Let's wait for more people to join us. Okay. So the cup. Hello, everybody. Welcome to alamamak.com Thank you for tuning in to our show, Amazing Thai Taste at Home. My name is Max and today I will be teaching you how to cook one of Thailand's most beloved and one of the most popular dishes you can find. A special mention to our sponsor, Tourism Authority of Thailand, for collaborating with us to make this web series possible. Don't forget to join our contest guys. Just upload a photo of yourself cooking the dish and another photo of yourself with the cooked dish. You have up to the end of the month to join and you stand to win $40 of cold storage vouchers sponsored by TAT Singapore. Okay, so today I'm cooking Tom Yam Kung. I know many of you guys have heard of this dish before. It is one of the most famous dishes of Thai cuisine ever. I'm going to cook a very simple version and I hope you guys are excited and you guys will try it at home. So what exactly is Tom Yam Kung? In Thai, the word Tom means to boil so that indicates a soup based dish and the word Yam actually refers to a category of Thai salads. So in that sense, Tom Yam kind of means like soup salad. It may seem a little bit strange but it is because the ingredients that we use in Tom Yam Kung can be found similarly to what we can find in Thai salads. Okay, So Tom Yam ranges from very extremely basic to highly highly complex. Today I'll be cooking two versions of Tom Yam Kung. One of it is Tom Yam Kung Nam Sai which is a clear broth version and the other one is Tom Yam Kung Nam Khon Nam Khon which means a thick broth I think this is the version that most of you guys have in mind when you guys think of Tom Yam Kung, Kung the signature orange reddish creamy texture is what people think of when they think of this dish Okay. so before we start I'm going to show you how to make a basic prawn stock I have a Prawn stock going for 15 minutes already. So to make your tom yam more flavorful, all you need to do is to heat up your wok, add a touch of uh, oil into your pot. Okay, just a just a little bit. Okay, let the pot heat up. To the, the prawn stock is actually one of the most um, important steps in making tom yam. It is very crucial to, to give it more flavor. If you don't have time to do prawn stock, a good old fashioned chicken stock is okay too. But if you really don't have the time to do it, you can also use um, water, but that is not recommended. Nah. So let your oil heat up and put in the prawn shell okay. slowly cook out the prawn shell keep stirring it to prevent it from, from getting burned 
cook until the prawn juices has came up from the shell and into the oil. Let the prawn shell turn orange. Okay, keep, keep on stirring it. Remember to scrape off the little bits from the bottom because that is all the flavor. Yeah. Guys, when the when the shell is already ready, you can smell you can smell a very deep crustacean smell. Just add your water. Deglaze the bottom of the pot, and then just um, use the water and cover it. Okay, and let it cook for at least. 15 to 20 minutes and just strain it off when it's done. To those who have just joined us, thank you for tuning in to our show, Amazing Thai Taste at Home. Today I'm cooking Tom Yam Kung. I hope you guys enjoy your time with us. For our ingredients today, I'm using the aromatics that I prepared over here. I call this tree the Tom Yam Trio. This is very essential to the tom yum dish, okay? You have the lemongrass, the galanga, and the kaffir lime leaf. I will show you guys how to prepare all of this. For the lemongrass, the flavors are concentrated in this part of the lemongrass, okay? So take your knife, give it a cut like this. You can you can reserve this part if you are making stock, but if you are not, you can just throw it away, it's okay. Okay, cut off a little bit of the, the root off. And as you can see, there is a very really woody outer layer out of the lemongrass. It doesn't have much flavor, so just remove that. Make an insurgent to the lemongrass like this and remove the woody outer layer. There is not much flavor there. Okay. And then, if you have a pestle at home, use a pestle to, to pour it like this. To break all the cells in the lemongrass to, to release the amazing aroma inside. And just simply cut into chunks like this, okay? And for our kaffir lime leaf, we simply just going to tear it like this to release all the amazing aroma. And for the galanga, we are only using this part of the galanga. The top part we don't really use. So just cut it off like this and cut simple rounds like this, okay? And that's for my Tom Yam Trio, okay? And today, I'm using other aromatics such as uh, shallots and garlic and the coriander root. For the shallots, we just peel it off and we just use the pasta and just simply crush it like this to let the flavor come out. Same thing for the garlic, just a light smash. Okay? Okay. And for the coriander root, we are going to give it a light bruise too. Okay. Today, I'm adding a mixture of mushrooms. I'm using straw mushrooms that I cut into half and oyster mushroom. You can use any kind of mushroom you want. You can use shimiji mushroom or inoke mushroom. Anything you can find, okay? There is no right or wrong. It's, it's up to what you like. And I'm using cherry tomatoes today that are cut into quarters. I'm using this to give it a little bit more acidity and color to my tom yam. And for my herbs, I'm using coriander and salt of coriander. For you guys who do not know what is salt of coriander, in Thai we call this pak chi farang. Or in English, salt of coriander or long leaf coriander. It has a really beautiful minty aroma 
and it goes really well in tom yum or in Thai salads. I recommend you to to have it in your tom yum. Okay, do not miss this. And I'm using a combination of bird's eye chili and small dry chili that I roasted. This is optional. You do, you do not need to do this if you want. But it will add a layer of smokiness to your tom yum. If you don't have time, it's okay. You can skip it. And I have um, freshly squeezed lime juice and I'm using Mega Chef free sauce to season my tom yum. For the tom yum nam kon or the creamy tom yum, we're just adding this to we're just adding these two ingredients to my tom yum nam kon. This is what Thai people call nam pig pao or Thai chili paste. For those, for those of you guys who never tasted it before, it tastes a little bit sweet, sour and a little bit spicy. This will add a different flavor dimension to your tom yum. And in Singapore, you can find this brand, Mare Pranom in NTUC in Singapore. It comes in a jar form. So please try to find this for your tom yum kung nam kon. It gives us, it gives the tom yum a signature reddish orange color. Okay. And I'm going to add evaporated milk to my tom yum. I recommend you to, to use evaporated milk, not coconut milk, because coconut milk will give you a different kind of flavor and a different kind of soup. You don't really want that in your tom yum. The, the recipes are basically the same. Just that during, during, towards the end, for tom yum nam kon, we're just going to add these two ingredients to our tom yum to make it creamy and delicious. Okay guys, for my protein today, I'm using this large size white prince that I did shell. I like to keep I like to keep the head on because I like to suck on the prawn roll inside as you can see the juicy prawn rolls. Okay, I'm going to show you how to prepare this. Just uh, dish it like this. Dish out the prawn. You can keep the shell for stock later. Okay, and I'm using a scissors to cut off the the whiskers. Can okay, make it look pretty and presentable. And to devein it, guys, I'm gonna get to the second last segment of the prawn. You can use a toothpick or a tweezer if you have. Just get in there. So let's see whether this prawn has a vein or not. Okay. Okay. We have to be gentle in, in this step, as you can see. Um, this is the sh the shit in the prawn. Just take it out like this. Okay, I'll show you guys with another one. Just take out the shell like this. You shell the prawns. You can use any kind of prawns you can find: river prawns, white prawns, spot prawns. It's up to you. Okay. And go to the second last segment of the prawn and just be gentle and take out the vein inside. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky because um, the prawn is a you no. Know, okay. This, this is a bit. get the rain out okay give your hand a quick wash you don't want to cross contaminate your ingredients hello from Eddie uh, hello from uh, August hello from just nice
and today we're gonna cook some tom yum dish. For, th for those of you guys who just joined us, thank you for tuning in to our show, Amazing Thai Tales at Home. Today I'm cooking tom yum kung kap. I hope you enjoy our time with us and learn something with us, okay? Now back to the prawn stock. Now that the prawn stock is ready, simply just uh, strain it off like this. Be careful when you do this, okay? Just strain it off and discard the shell. Try to as extract as much juices as you can find. Try to extract as much prawn stock and juices from the shell. And then just discard it away. This is our prawn stocks. So I will start cooking now. Let your prawn stock heat up again to the boil. If you don't want to make prawn stock, you can just use a old-fashioned unsalted chicken stock if you want. But I will recommend you to use prawn stock for tom yum kung. Okay. Wait for the stock to come to a boil. And once the stock has come to a boil, I'm going to add my aromatics in. Let the, let the stock come to a boil first, be patient. Do not rush through your cooking, okay? When the stock is starting to boil, add in your aromatics, your lemongrass. I'm using four stalks of lemongrass here, around one thumb size of uh, galanga. And my curfew lime leaf, I'm using around 10 pieces of curfew lime leaf. I'm adding the coriander root the garlic and the shallots everything in okay let the aromatics cook for three to five minutes at least and let it slowly infuse into the stock at this stage you are slowly building flavor do not rush through this process okay be patient for those who just join us thank you for joining and tuning into our show, Amazing Thai Tales at Home. Today we are cooking Tom Yam Kung. Don't forget to join our contest. Just upload a photo of yourself cooking the dish and another photo of yourself with the cooked dish into the video comment boxes. We will pick one winner per video and you stand to win up to $40 of cold storage vouchers sponsored by Tourism Authority of Thailand Singapore. You have up to the end of the month to participate. Okay. At this stage, I'm going to add a pinch of salt into my stock. Okay. Let it slowly dissolve. Let the aromatics cook for three to five minutes and be patient. cherry tomatoes now into my stock to give it some color okay let it slowly cook up for a while do not need to rush it through 
Hello, Mr. Chris Wang. Hello, thank you for tuning in to our show. Amazing Thai taste at home. Okay. Once you start to smell an amazing aroma, check whether the which the shallots have turned colour and cooked. Once the aromatics have done their job, you can choose to take them out or leave them in. It's up to you. Okay. At this stage, I'm going to add my mushrooms in. I'm using a combination of straw mushrooms and oyster mushroom. Okay. You can take the aromatics off out if you don't want to eat them because you it's not really edible. Okay, put in your mushrooms now. Let the mushroom cook for one to two minutes. patient here, let the mushrooms and the stock cooked. Put your temperature on high. And next we are going to start to season our our stock. Let this soup come to a boil. I'm going to add my free sauce into my tom yum. You can use any kind of vegetables up to you. Some people they even put like carrots and corn into it, but to me, I think I just prefer tomatoes and mushroom. Once the soup has come to a boil, you can add in your fish sauce now. To this, I'm going to add four tablespoons of fish sauce. I'm using Mega Chef free sauce because I find it to be uh, has an excellent it has an excellent taste and a really good aroma when you use it in your cooking. Okay. When you add in your free sauce, one trick is to let it settle down a little bit. Do not immediately stir it. Let it Settle down. If you stir it now, you will kind of make the stock a little bit fishy. Just give it a few seconds and let it settle in. And then you give it a gentle stir, okay? I'm going to lower down my heat now to a medium heat. And then I'm going to season it with my lime juice. A, a little trick, guys. We are not going to season the lime into the pot. We are going to season it in the serving bowl itself. This way, the lime juice will remain sour and it's not cooked. Okay. So to my serving bowl, I'm adding three tablespoons of fish sauce. I'm going to add a bit of the bird eye chili a bit of my herbs, my coriander and sawtooth coriander and for those of you guys who know what is this this is galanga powder you can add a touch to give it a flavor boost if you don't have this, it's okay, it's optional just add a pinch of this into the tom yum get your serving bowl ready like this okay if you add your lime juice into the stock you make the mistake of cooking the lime juice and the soup will turn bitter give your tom yum a final taste check 
And when you, once you are satisfied, put in your prawns. I'm going to add in half of my prawns into my tom yum. For prawns this size, we just need up to 30 seconds to fully cook the prawns. You do not want to overcook your prawns, if not you will taste rubber, okay guys? Let the prawns cook and then you are ready to serve your tom yum kung nam sai. Give your tom yum a gentle stir. Okay. And let the prawns fully cooked. Okay, once the prawns are cooked, straight into the straight into the serving bowl. I wish you guys can smell this, it really smells wonderful. Man. Okay. Later your aromatics and the mushrooms. Okay. Serve it nicely. As you can see the aromatics, you can just remove it if you don't want it to be in your serving bowl because it gets in the way of eating, okay, it's up to you, just strain it off, just take it off, okay, and then next I'm just going to add a bit more herbs, and then a little bit of my roasted dry chili. So guys, here you have it, tom yum kung nam sai. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm just gonna cook the tom yum kung nam kon. We're gonna do something different now. To the pot, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of my nam pig pao. Three big tablespoons. Give your soup a good stir. You want to make sure the chili paste has fully dissolved into the soup. Okay. As you can see, the color of the soup has started to turn reddish orange. And that's a good sign that you're on track. Okay, guys. Give your tom yum a good stir to make sure the chili paste has fully dissolved into the stock. Okay. And to this, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna start with 10 tablespoons of evaporated milk to make it creamy and milky. Okay. Give it a good stir. As you can see, the soup has started to turn creamy and milky. Let the tom yum cook out a little bit first. And then I'm going to finish it off with my other half of my prawns.
always give your tom yum a good taste taste check because the evaporated milk tends to lower down the saltiness level okay so always taste your tom yum after you put in the chili paste and the evaporated milk the taste should be sweet sour and salty okay. give your tom yum a taste this one needs a touch more fish sauce Very slowly cook up. I'm going to lower down my heat now and I'm adding the rest of my prawns into the tom yum. Okay, so I'm going to let my prawns cook out a little bit and then for my serving bowl, I'm going to do the same thing. We are going to season in the serving bowl so we, are, we don't cook the lime juice. I'm adding 3 tablespoons of lime juice. My chili. If you like it more spicy, you can put in more. If you like it less spicy, just put in less. Okay. A bit of my herbs. And I'm adding a touch of the Galanga powder. Okay, this is a bit too much, but it's fine. It's for home cooking, so you can just keep it at home and taste it again. You can heat it up like this because we don't really. Uh, the taste will not be affected so much because there is no lime juice in the main soup by itself but if you put lime juice into the soup and then you heat up the next day the taste will change a lot okay so guys keep that in mind okay once the soup is ready Can serve straight into the serving bowl. Okay. Give your tom yum a good mix. Make sure the seasoning is all mixed in together properly. Okay, and then give it a final taste check. If you want it to be more sour, you can add in more lime juice. If you want it to be a bit more salty, just add a touch more fish sauce, okay? And end it off with some of the coriander. some of my roasted dry chili guys so guys here you have it tom yam kung nam sai and tom yam kung nam kun i hope you guys have enjoyed your time with us thank you for tuning in to amazing thai taste at home and please give it a try Try to cook this at home. Stay home, stay safe in this COVID 19 pandemic. Okay? Cook as much as possible at home. Don't go out during this circuit breaker period. Okay? Listen to the government and be safe. We thank you for your time and your attention. Please like and share this video. And see you guys on the next video on the 21st of April, where I'll be teaching you how to cook Thai red curry. Thank you. So, the cup.